Hello everyone, it's Gary the Google Guy once again. I thought I'd let you in on a few updates that Google has recently made to Google Forms. So I have a few of them, so bear with me here. First off, you're gonna see some new changes with intelligent response validation. So for example, I've got a couple of questions on my screen here of like, how old are you? Or what's your email address? What you're gonna see eventually, and this may take a little while for it to roll out because it looks like they're doing just a gradual rollout on this, is going to be underneath the question itself when you're creating it. It's gonna give you an option of add validation and then it will say add a whole number or only accept whole numbers or like for the email address add validation only accept email addresses so that's one change that you're going to see another change that you're going to eventually see is that you will be able to do cross domain file uploads so that means that you're going to be able to upload files as responses to your questions or to other people's questions and that will allow both your organization and other domains cross sharing and being able to upload files as answers to questions and such so that's another thing that you're going to be eventually seeing it Another change that you're going to be seeing, so here's change number three, is going to be in the upper right hand corner underneath your three little dots. When we click on that, we're going to see an option for preferences. Now when it comes to your preferences, you're going to be able to set certain things up to do as a default for every time that you create a new form, whether it is going to be collecting email addresses or make certain questions required default quiz point value for my teacher friends out there that may help you out just to kind of save yourselves a little bit of time so you're gonna have some default settings that you can work with here another change that you're gonna see so number four here is you are gonna see an option now to use a checkbox grid for your questions so when you create a new question you'll see here that I now have the option in my question piece as a checkbox grid so if you do something like this this will give you a little bit more flexibility to create like a what date and time works best for you for meeting or something like that and then when people see that question they'll be able to select multiple times or days whatever it may be that you've selected for your particular question and then the last change that Google has recently made is going to be a little bit more manipulation pieces to sections. So if you look in the upper right corner of our question section box here, if we go up to the top and click on that little three dot menu, you'll see that you can duplicate an entire section, move it, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment, delete a section, or merge with your above section there. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So move section, we can see this box pop up. You'll see that you'll have little arrows to the right side of it and you can just click on the arrow to move it up in order or down in order or whatever you'd like. So you've got a little bit more power to move some things around there. And then just to let you know, these little arrows in the upper right corner once again, it's just going to collapse the section name and answer area there, just so you can see a little less data. Expand it out so you see like the working view of it. So I just wanted to give everybody those updates to Google Forms. Hopefully they'll be helpful to you, whether you are in corporate or as a teacher, a little bit more power for you to play with, a little bit of time saving, and a little bit more help for creating your Google Forms. So until we all meet again, this is Gary the Google Guy, signing off.